My name's James. I'm a safety consultant for Recovery Partners. And today, what I'm going to go through is how at Recovery Partners, we develop a job task analysis report. So for this example, um, we've got the position up the top here, so production general hands, and I've got the task as well. So we start with the breakdown of the task, so step-by-step -step process on how to complete the task. We then develop a, an assessment of the working environment, what their shift times are. We then assess uh, what risks are involved in the task, what PPE is required to be worn for the task to be completed. Also, this table down below. So this is this assesses how the, how often the worker is uh, performing each one of these movements. So that's depicted in these squares here uh, with the definitions above. And then on the right hand side, so then we also assess what areas of the body is most at risk of sustaining an injury and and we color code them. So red is the highest risk, yellow is moderate risk, and then green is uh, low risk. So part of the analysis is to observe and analyze movements for the work who's performing. And the, the best way we do that is through a technology called Preventure Sensors. So these sensors are attached to the worker's back and the worker's arm. So what the benefit of the sensors are is they can objectively measure a worker's movement. As you can see in the graph here, this is where we're assessing first their lower back movement. So that's depicted by the blue line, as you see in the graph, as it peaks and drops. So a peak in the in the blue line means that the worker is bending their back. So that's an indication of a higher risk of sustaining injury in their lower back um, and gives us, gives us information on how to correct the worker on how they can better their posture while performing this task. 